Last night, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, announced that the entire country was going into lockdown. And although it's not as strict as Italy and Spain, it is quite a significant step that they've taken. I definitely have not lived through anything like it in my entire life, and most of the people I know have not lived through something like that either. But as he was addressing the nation last night in his speech, Boris Johnson said this. One form of exercise a day, for example, a run, walk or cycle, alone or with members of your household. Now, I'm not someone who is necessarily the most active or fit person, but when I heard that, I thought, oh, okay, fair enough. And naturally, because I'm starting this little series talking of things that you can do in self-isolation, I thought it would be a good idea to go for a walk. We shall be adhering to all of the government's guidelines that includes social distancing of two meters, which means that we have to essentially stand two meters away from every single person that we come past. And if you're struggling to think of what two meters looks like, here is a good picture. Therefore, whenever you walk past any other human being, you must imagine that there is a tapir between you and that person. And if you are any closer than the length of a tapir, then you are probably breaching what the government has said we are meant to do. Considering all the things I have just said, we are now going to go for a walk and you are coming with me. Got my hat and my scarf on, ready to go, ready to go. It's very sunny today, which is nice. It's a good decision to go out for a walk. So far, there hasn't really been many people, but I've had to imagine the tapir between. But I am fully ready to go into tapir mode if necessary. Two meters, that's what I've got to remember. So that guy there, I literally just crossed the road so I didn't have to go near him. Oh, so weird. Up there is where we're going to. That's where we're going. The blockhouse. Very nice. Oh, it's a blinking hill. I mean, look at it. It's so steep. <laughs> I'm struggling. It's eerily quiet here. Look. It's like no one. Oh, it's weird. Pies and pasties. I've got to get some lunch now. Not sure what I'll get. Oh. Oh. Maybe that. Look at it. It's amazing, isn't it? Not even at the top yet. It's been a good walk so far. People have been quite respectful, actually. And in most circumstances, suddenly moving away from someone who comes near you would be seen as weird, but people have been great. And here we go. My favorite seat is currently empty, which means I'm gonna to to sit down in it and I'm so excited about that. Someone left a glove here. That's slightly unnerving. Well, here we are. I'm gonna do a slow reveal for you. <laughs> Look at this place. Look. Wow. It's so amazing, isn't it? You can see the whole of Plymouth here. <sighs> That's quite something. Here is probably a better way of looking at it. All from this little hill, just a little space of ground. There's my sandwiches and my, my thing, and then there's the random pair of gloves. Oh, not pair, single glove. And then over here, we have a dial. But pretty much, it'll show you the location of these places and how far away they are. This is interesting. These are things called tours. They're big hills that you can walk up. My dad and I used to do those. So in the distance over there, when the skyline is clearer, you'll be able to see those hills. Well, there you go. That is something else you can do if you're self-isolating during this time. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe because there is more to come for definite. I'm going to have more time on my hands and it'll be good to crack out a few more helpful videos. 
look forward to seeing you next bye bye quickly before you go i just wanted to remind you that you should probably like this video you should probably subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any videos that are to come over the next few days and don't forget most of all you've got to wash your hands wash your hands as much as possible obviously you don't want to ruin your skin and make it all crackly and and dry but be sensible you you know when is best to wash your hands i'm probably gonna go and wash them in a second and you'll be fine all right stay safe and i'll see you soon bye